shirt is super wrinkled but in other news my hair turned out great more bold east is blonde this place is like oh look this place is like the shining <laughs> down <sighs> today is not a day that i like wearing all this makeup there is so much on my face. This lighting, oh my god, horrendous. And I need to get the sides of my hair cut. I can't deal with it. All right, it's about to be very loud. Oh, the back of my hair looks cool. <laughs> Hi guys. It's all good. What is this cool thing that you have harnessed to you? I need one of these for my camp, my little mini camera. Hey, we're not sick this time, right? Uh, my hotel room's definitely trying to get me sick, that's for sure. Not, not like not last cool. time. All right, guys, this is Griff. He is one of the co-founders of the Bar Poker Open. And yeah, I know, it's like, I'm not in heels this year. It's so Not yet. Weird. Yeah, I yeah. will be. Every right? week we have players that qualify and try and qualify for the national championship, but then also we add a what we call a high roller event. This season was a high roller package for the World Series of Poker Millionaire Maker Tournament. Also included seven nights here in Vegas, the Bar Poker Open Championship event, um, and expenses of the travel and so he was unbelievably excited yeah. to say anything less. Uh, which <laughs> Why do I not coincidentally, know about this? How do I get in this? Uh, go to a bar. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. I'm gonna give you guys a view of the madness of this place. Is. <laughs> they have added tables in the aisle because there's just not enough. <laughs> this is insane. This is awesome. <gasps> Great. 
from my sneakers to heels and now my heels back to sneakers. A lot of uh, great personalities, a lot of great stories. This this bar poker open uh, reminds me of why I first started playing poker to begin with uh, and it was because I love the game. I fell in love with the game and I feel like a lot of us poker players, I'm guilty of this as well. We should take it seriously, right? But we should still have fun with it and remember that when we first started playing I mean you didn't you didn't start this game because you were miserable but like you started it because there was a part of you that fell in love with it and 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 really adored and adore might be the wrong word for some of you but for me personally like I really adored the game and I loved just about everything about it and so coming here to the bar poker open always reminds me of why I started playing poker to begin with and reminds me to stay humble and not jaded just it's so great. It's so great. I love it. So, lunch break for me. I'm all done for the day. So Andrew and I are at um, Cadillac. I don't know if you guys can even hear me. We are at Cadillac in Golden Nugget Hotel Casino. Golden Nugget Hotel Casino. You know I've been working all day. Get that out of here. We're here to watch uh, game five of the NBA Finals. And it's perfect timing that I just got off of work and I'm excited. It's an early day for me. Day one is always pretty early because day two and day three are fucking forever. It's really obnoxious, so I'm gonna get out of here and uh, enjoy the game. Hi guys. Excuse me for that. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. I fell asleep at like, oh my god, what time did I fall asleep? Like 10? I don't know. I was so, I'm so tired. I fell asleep with like all my makeup on and my clothes and everything a couple hours ago. So I just woke up, washed my face and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to, um, I'm going to edit this video. I've actually been editing for two days. I'm like three days behind on this vlog because this combination of switching rooms, playing the daily all day, and just <clears throat> really being exhausted. Anyway, these are all just excuses. Anyway, so I'm going to get this one done, try and, uh, I actually had this one done last night, and then my, my, um, computer decided it wanted to fuck everything up and delete all the work that I did, so I've been redoing it. Yay! It's Monday night. <clears throat> I just found out that my co-host is probably going to make day two. Ryan Shiro, which is the first winner of the Bar Poker Open a few years ago back in uh, Atlantic City, Borgata. And um, he plays every year and he actually went like back to back final tables. And um, Anyway, so he's looks like he's gonna make day two so and they're doing like a live stream pretty early starting like a feature uh, a feature table all the way down to the final table and he was scheduled to be my co-host but if he makes day two then I gotta do something else so I've got a couple of people I reached out to Jeff Boski um, but this time of year it's obviously it's the World Series of Poker so everything is just up in the air and same thing with uh, Poppy and Joey Ingram so we'll just we'll just have to, to wait and see it'll be one of those game time <coughs> excuse me one of those game time decisions that get made yeah we'll see yeah, I'm gonna get to editing get this video done so I can get this popped out and try and hopefully do another one um, before I go to bed tonight, so I can at least play a little catch up. So, man, down, there is no no place like downtown Las Vegas. There's this. I'm sitting here editing, and this lady <laughs> is 
totally talking to myself. Screaming at the top of her lungs, saying, fucking hit me, bitch. Saying the, the N-word, saying, does nobody care about a white lady? Walking, I mean, it's crazy. And there's nobody down there. <laughs> and she's like, walking in the crosswalk, like not in the crosswalk, like it's a, it's a light and walking like in the middle of the road with her hands up saying, fucking hit me, bitch. Um, really going crazy. I kind of hope she comes back this way just so we can, I open my window and everything because I'm pretty sure you guys would be able to hear it. It's really, it's, um, it's entertaining. It's sad and it's entertaining and I'm an asshole because I find it so entertaining because mental illness or whatever the hell that this woman suffers from is, is a real thing and it's something, it's a real problem. But I guess I'm just not good enough today to not laugh at it in this case. But I'm praying for her, like for real. And I'm also grateful to her for giving me a momentary break from the work that I've been doing.